I'm not stopping this at any point now. That's fair, we can do them <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Alright, welcome to two studious gentlemen that just want to drink. Uh, we're going to do some reviews of a few bottles we picked up today and see how that goes. Uh, this is Snazzy, I'm Snyderium, usually do gaming, and we're now we're doing this. <laughs> so take that as you will, patent pending. <laughs> And now let's to get to the bottles. Uh, our first one we have is uh, bourbon cream from Buffalo Trace Distillery. Uh, it's 15% ABV. It's so just a bourbon cream liqueur. What do you um, pair that with? I don't know. You drink it straight. You use shots of it. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. I say let's get to the bottle of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Boy, what's that smell like? I don't know, man. It's, <laughs> it's kind of faint, but hey, oh, I, it's mysterious. I could, <laughs> I could definitely smell the bourbon, though. Odd Is shape like to the a, bottle. It's got like a little lip there. Yeah, that's a weird lip. I don't know. I don't know. Now um, we get to that favorite part of this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in warm on this. You doing warm? I'm gonna go in warm. I feel. I feel like the cream liquor that needs something from the. I'm gonna go in warm. Three cubes. It's very. Uh... Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Okay, you, you can smell it. You can smell it. That is not at all what I thought that would taste like. And I'm not, I'm not upset, I'm not offended, that's... It's like a comforting hug. With chocolate. You're right, you're right. It does have a lot more of a chocolate taste to it. I didn't really expect that. It's a bourbon. I mean, I've never gone in and I was like, yo, let's have a chocolate bourbon before. It but reminds me of Bailey's, but like... It's got like a more... Not to put gender on this, like a masculine, like lumberjack vibe to that. Because Bailey's is like light and fluffy cream, and sugar. Th this this is like, a little bit darker and warmer. Yeah, it's got I, warmer I agree, taste I agree. To it. Not bad. Are we supposed to rate these on a scale? Of post we we could do that. We could do that. I don't even um, know what our scale meter is called. <laughs> the would I drink it again? <laughs> the would I drink it? I like that. Would I drink it again? Would I get another? That's what it should be. Would I get another bottle? Would I get another bottle of this? Okay. Okay. Um. You want to do it at the same time or separate? Let's do it. Let's do it separate and give our reasoning. Okay. And you first. Okay. You okay. This one. Okay. So I'm going to go with a six. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was actually going to give it a six, too, but I'll hear why. Okay. Okay, so my thoughts on this. I'm not a big cream person, and that's the only reason I rated it this low. Uh, I could easily give it higher if I was more into a thicker feel, but I, I like... I like it, It's a little too heavy and vis not, not good on the viscosity. But it does taste really good. I don't think I could get drunk on it. Fair. Okay. Uh, your thoughts? I would say I gave it a six because I don't know how we're going on this, and I don't want to start off strong with giving this a ten out of ten. But this was very pleasant. Like, I'd have to say, would I drink this full glass back to back? Probably not, with the flavor and the profiling, the type of drink and all. But this is a nice dessert. Like you finish Ooh, off, I think. That's a good point. That is much more of a, like a dessert drink, something that you would have after a good meal. Yeah, it was it was very Good nice, season. but I'm excited to see what else we have in store. Right, let's get to the bottle. <laughs> let's get to the bottle. <laughs> All right, so want to take it away? I shall get to the bottle of this. Next up on the tray, we have Boyd and Blair. Very popular name, and for good reason, because this one will never let you down on a fine, fine beverage after yeah, your workday is complete. <laughs> this one is a craft cocktail vodka with cold brew coffee. We have a theme going on today, as you can see. And vanilla, the espresso martini, as y'all know already. 
masterfully pre-crafted for your enjoyment with 16% of alcohol volume or 32 proof for you wine heads out there. And I also believe this is Pennsylvania brewed. I think the distillery is still in Pennsylvania. Well, it's got so. a keystone at the top. I'd yeah. say that's a fair All right. I would say though. so then. I would say that is a Pennsylvania specialty right there then. Well, they're plugging their own uh, startup uh, potato vodka, which we've uh, done before. We'll have to bring it to the videos. That'll guys. be a future. I do love their vodka. That's less of a rating and more like a refractor <laughs> for us. <laughs> May Ooh, I start you off, sir? Court. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Oh, we got a lighter color here. Not as much cream, though, so... Yeah, that's good. I, I prefer that. Ooh, that is definitely heavy on the coffee note. Oh, boy. Go, do, do you want to give it a smell first? That smells like that pure is, espresso. That is coffee. Uh, I already can tell where this is going to go for me, but uh, let's get to the bottle. You first. I'm intrigued. I'm not. I personally am not a huge fan of coffee and coffee-related things. Um, this is actually really good. This is actually really good. <laughs> the lady that told me about this in the store, she said she would confuse this for a coffee that she was drinking on a normal day. And I, I have to say that's a fair assumption right there. It okay. tastes just like okay. coffee. I don't even taste the alcohol. I, I don't taste anything other than coffee. Uh, it, it is on the sweeter side, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I don't have that very bitter coffee take, like, it's obviously coffee, but I don't feel any bitter after effects, which I do actually like. It goes down, it's not like a dry aftertaste, but, uh, I was thinking for some reason this was chocolate, I was completely wrong, it's got, a uh, vanilla in there. I know I read Ooh, it, but right, I was though. I was thinking chocolate this whole time, and it doesn't taste like chocolate, so that's no, why. No, it doesn't. It's... I was wrong on my labels. It is... That is a lot of vanilla. That might be what's taking the edge off of it for me, that I like it. A nice, smooth pairing. This would be something I would like to wake up to. I could see that. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Check it brand know, so it's normal coffee, but you get a little fun in there. It's vacation coffee. Mm, vacation coffee. I can get on board with that. <laughs> Now on to the rating of, would you buy another bottle? Alright. I do like it. I don't mind it. But I have other things on my palate that I am a lot more keen on. I will give this a... A 4. I don't see myself buying this on an average. I would really need to get into more coffee flavors. But it's not bad. If I liked coffee, I would probably love this. I, I am a beanhead by heart. That's why I chose all these coffee ones. <laughs> I'm going to put it as a five because, you know, it does well with the coffee. But I, other than that, the flavoring, it's it doesn't strike out to me as a favorite right now. I, I, I like a little cream to my coffee, even though I love coffee. This is a, it's just a five for it does great on the coffee side. But it could use some extra uh, something in there. A little more flavor profiling. I don't know about this vanilla taking over too much. Maybe you put some, uh, what is that, pure essence? The extract of vanilla. Maybe a little extra strong strength in there. Honestly, if I were to do anything and try to enhance this flavor, I'd probably add the bourbon cream to it. Oh, that's that's going to be something. You know what? Maybe let's do a small let's, glass You know what? Let's do it. Crossover. <laughs> Good idea. Right. Let's say a half and half because we don't have a general science on this. We're, yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not specialty right now. So this is together. Oh, well, it's gonna. We're gonna have to drink this fast. It is kind of curdling. Oh a no! Bit. It's a little bit. A little the bit. The curdle effect. It's not mixing very well. Wow, you got the light mixed with the dark. It's not bad. It's it's still sweet. It's still creamy as hell. I uh, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. I don't love it. <laughs> I thought that would be a lot better. I'm I'm minimally disappointed. I give that mixture a three, maybe a two. 
Out of 10? Two out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd have to agree. Maybe 3.5. Okay, okay. Okay. It didn't curl completely. It didn't curl completely. But we didn't wait too long to find we out. Did, I didn't want to wait too long to find out. Uh, yes, I'm going with the two. Okay. All right. Well, let's get to the bottle. All right, let's go to the next bottle. Oh, you want to get to the bottle of it, eh? Yeah, I want to get next to the bottom up, of it. We have <laughs> the bottom of the bottle on the rocks. On the rocks seems to be a premium cocktail brand where it's made by it's it's crafted with effing vodka. That's actually a I've fun heard, name to say. I <laughs> I've heard of Ethan before. I don't believe I've had it, but I've heard that it is a. Uh, I think it's above a mid-grade vodka. I would, I would say. Well, as an on the water, or as we say, bottom shelf drinker myself with the cheap budget, I, I'm not familiar with it. But I am open to new things, and this is another espresso martini. So hopefully, this one is a good competitor on the Boyd and Blair. Yeah. Yeah. I see that the Boyd and Blair was 16%. This looks like it's 20. This one's 20 and 40 proof. Not bad at all. Pour That's over ice bad. and enjoy. Tinier bottle, but say uh, for half the price, Might I'm be not good. mad at that at all. Might be good. <laughs> <laughs> at least you know the cork will stay on. No, I know you're not an ice guy, but this one does say serve over ice. So uh, what give, do you say? uh, give me some ice. All we'll, right. we'll go for it. We'll go for it. I oh. don't want that one. <laughs> no, we don't want that one. <laughs> Just a little bit. That's too much ice. A little heavy on the ice. Too much alcohol, never a problem. Too much ice, a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. All, All right. right. I'm thinking straight beans. This one does not yeah. lie. Espresso yeah, no, beans is... right there. I'm, I know what I'm getting into on this one. I, I might I might be uh, biased, but I don't even know the brand. I'm going to be biased on this one. It, it smells like straight, straight coffee bean. Down in the hatch. That has a lot more of the coffee bitterness I'm aware of. I love it. it mm. I may have missed my mouth entirely, but I love it. <laughs> Loved it so much that he <laughs> put I it back to, out. The, the, the shirt needed a little drink, as I said. The, the shirt was thirsty. It was a thirsty shirt. Uh, I don't... I'm skipping right ahead. We'll go back. This one, I'd buy again. I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10, but it, it, it's not too dark for me. It's not too dry. I love it. For uh, fucking 12 bucks? That ain't half for bad. A, oh, f I, could, I could down this. You know what? I paid 12 bucks for one glass in a restaurant. I can settle for what? Maybe three, three glasses of this? It's pleasant. It's not as creamy, but... It's good coffee. I don't know, I'm hoping it gives a little of a caffeine kick too for the pick me ups. I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't think there's caffeine in this. I don't either. I. I'm going to give this a 2 out of 10. Because it, it's, it's. Again, it comes down to this being a coffee drink. I'm not a coffee person. Very much not so, and this is definitely, I could have sworn I just took a shot of espresso. And, you know, maybe that's a good thing for some of you viewers. Um, I could definitely see that as someone that, you know, wants a little bit of alcohol with their coffee, you know? Oh, a little splash of that alcohol in the You know, bean. Uh, uh, what is that, an, Ir an Irish coffee or whatever? You yeah, know? yeah, you put a little bit of it in the whiskey. Yeah, I could, I could... I could see that, not for me, but I could see that. Uh, two out of ten for me, but if I was a coffee enjoyer, I could easily give this a nine out of ten. I'm giving this... 
nine for coffee drawer? If you make I, me if look I, like I hate coffee because I was gonna give it a seven point five. Seven point five. I was gonna get. I'm you a talk bean me head. down to eight. You talk I'm me down to eight. I'm a bean head, and I'm gonna give it a seven point five. I, I listen. I said two. If I liked coffee, if I liked the flavor of coffee, that was an easy nine. If I'm going but, for drink alone, I give this at least an eight point five. But it's a small bottle, twelve point five dollars. Oh yeah, you're right. That is a small bottle for twelve dollars. I I'd give it a seven point five. I don't want to dock it too much because an espresso martini on the house in that bar is going to cost you around the same for that whole bottle. It's going to be one drink. And it's a tiny martini glass of a drink. That's not much. You guys know that doesn't have many uh, what do they call it? Liters? Milliliters in them? Yeah, milliliters. No, not much in there. Um, okay. If I enjoyed coffee you have talked me down to a 7.5. I am still going to go with... Yours. I'm going to go... I'm going to finish... <laughs> okay! I'm going to finish this off with a 2. Uh... More like I finished his off. Yeah, well, <laughs> he finished it off with a good two. Um, but with that being said, let's get to the next bottle. Here we go. All right. So, last one we got on today. I'm very excited for this one, though I didn't know it existed until today. I didn't know Gage this existed. was the one that brought this to us. So, this is, uh, I believe it's pronounced Bamboo. Don't hate me. Um, it's a... I believe it's a Caribbean rum. Looks very tropical. From the West Indies, maybe not. Barbados. I don't know. I was recommended to this. It was a rum. It is a rum. What's our proofing I, and stuff? Uh, it is 35% ABV. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. I like this. I like this other one. This is a really nice cork. No, that one's that one's definitely a lot more than what we've been drinking. I'll do this one oh off the road. Oh my god, that smells like vanilla and vanilla. sugar. I, vanilla. I would say this smells like a root beer float. Definitely a root beer float. Oh my gosh. I love Is that what, what, going I've on. never had a root beer float, but I would say that. Would you I'm, say this way? I'm going a little heavier on that. Vanilla, maybe ice cream. Give yeah. me a light, light. This one's, yeah. I won't take away from your experience over there. Okay, so trying the bamboo. I'm gonna go to smell. Oh, it smells so delicious. Definitely root beer I'm thinking for this. Is this a rum? Yes, this is rum. This is, I believe, a Caribbean As rum. As I say, why is the rum gone? Well, it was about to be. That's why. Barrel and root beer. Yeah. Barrel and root beer. Oh, that is so sweet. It doesn't it doesn't hurt. It's very smooth. It's very low. If I had to take a shot of this as punishment, I'd say, where's the punishment? If I had to take a shot of this. I, I don't know. I don't think I could take a shot of this. This is definitely a sever for me. Mm. I'll tell you what. If somebody said I had to take a shot of this, I'd say, why can't I take two shots of this? This it's very warm. It is a very warm. On the dry oh, side, I, all I can think of is just being on a beach right now. I can see that. I can see that. I'd get a little thirsty if I was drinking this on the beach, because it leaves you with dry nodes, but it doesn't leave you with a dry mouth. Ooh, you make a valid point. I'm not dry, but I I will definitely feel dry. I will feel dry after this. But what would you pair that with? I don't know. I don't... What would what would be a good rum cocktail for this? Because if I'm going out here and I'm having two hands, one with this straight up and one with another one just to parse that dryness, I wouldn't go with like a lemonade. That would no, not that would be ruin good for the palate. That would, that would ruin the flavor. But do you want to go with just a sip of water? N I almost want to, just so I can experience the first flavor again. Now you hear it from the expert. Oh. I'll trust your judgment. I'd go straight water just to experience the true flavor. Just to cleanse the palate and Bamboo taste it again. Bamboo original. Oh, wow. I wanted, I wanted a very nice rum. I wanted something nice. And this, this is what I was recommended it. to. And just the smell alone... 
puts me right on a beach. Right in the best climate in the world. Oh my gosh. Right on that note. Give me your number. Right off the bat. Right Nine off and a bat. half. Not, oh, there you go. Nine you and can't, a half. You can't even, no hesitation. You just, right off the tongue. There are very few things I would say beat this for me. And oh. I don't drink root beer. I don't drink any of that. But if I was to say, you know, like he doesn't drink coffee, I'd give this, even if I don't drink root beer, I'll give this a name. Totally out of my profile. I don't think I've had rum other than, is Captain Morgan a rum? Yes, that's Captain. Captain is a spice rum. This yeah, is not spice. This is a lot more smooth. Is that the spice? Uh, could be. Could Captain be. Morgan was also very, made very cheap. So it's not like... It's not like Captain is a bottom shelf. I no. wouldn't call it that. But it's very close to But it. in comparison to Bamboo... Oh, oh, all day. All day. I, know, I don't We're like Captain. Bamboo. I personally am not a, a spiced rum fan. I just like rum... Um, this is, oh, I, I'm so happy with that purchase. Nine and a half, I'd say so. That's you know what? genuine. You might have to get another. We're going. I'm doing another. What do we call this one? Uh, double dipper, double glasser? We need a name for I'd, this. Uh, I don't know. Hey, this, this tops the charts of buying another bottle when you're getting another glass right off the bat. Just, just to sip on, oh. I'm going on the rocks for me. I might not. You know, this is the um after special. After special of uh, just us bullshit. You know when there's a um a concert and they bring them on for an encore. encore. Okay. okay. This is us, and we go back and we drink our favorite by choice in that moment, right there. You know what? I like that. I like that. You know, I. I'm going a little bit heavier. A little heavier? Like I said, I, did, I, w- I thought about just pouring a full glass and I was like, nah, not right now. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. We need to find some to pair yours with. Uh, you know what? I hate to say it, but I drink a glass of this and do a shot of Malibu. You stay right there. You keep it rolling. I'll be back with a shot of Malibu. Both. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> well, while well, I have you here, I just like to say, cheers. <laughs> one for you, one for me. Oh shit! You get a little bit more in there. We'll just share the same glass. Or, or wait, do you just pour it in there, or you take the shot, full shot of Malibu? Give me a half a shot. Half a shot. Give me a half a shot. Half a shot. Right I don't know why we're trusting the guy with the shaky hand, but <laughs> it's part of the fun, part of the experience. <laughs> it's not going to be half a shot. I've already gotten liquids on me during this short little filming. That's but. not half a shot, but we'll go. I'll go with it. We're going with it. All right, so that. I have the flavor. I got the flavor. Oh, now, it's, now this is just wait, turning. Wait, wait, wait. Get a little bit in there. Okay, okay. We'll do okay. a refresher because okay. you had some time, but we want it fresh. Okay, all right. I can't believe it. Here we go. You know, this is a $40 bottle, and I'm just I'm just pouring we're it. We're doing really. justice to it is what we're doing. You know what? I will say, this is definitely one of my favorite I'll runs. do first tiny sip, and then you do the rest, okay? All right. All right. Oh, you're doing backwards shot. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is that is ravishing. I'm thinking, you know, when you smell that first smell of somebody freshly applying sunscreen, you're going to the beach, oh. you're going to water park, that's what I'm thinking right now. It's putting me right there in my head. Everything it just feels very welcoming. It, it does is that is that the word I'm looking you're for? You're going on your class field trip. You're excited, you're going. Yeah, yeah, Mom you're... paid that twenty dollar bus for you're going. <laughs> <sighs> I'm happy with that. I'm happy with everything. You know what? I could get past the coffee here today. It, it was a good day. It was the the coffee liqueurs, if you can if you like coffee, you will like it. Aside from that, I'll stay low. But the rum? Everything 
it didn't exceed expectations all the way, but it left us happy. And that is why we are here. And I, to, Two to get, dudes that <laughs> like the drink. To get to the bottle. To get to the bottle it is. Thanks for watching. See you.